Yeah. Hello everyone, Ash here. Ooh, first video after I came out. Ooh, how amazing. Anyways, today I am telling another story because I, again, just remembered it, but it wasn't while I was doing my homework this time. I was just, actually, I was supposed to be asleep. And then all of a sudden, I remembered this story, and I was like, oh, that sounds like a good story to tell. So, I'm going to tell it, because uh, it was actually fucking hilarious. Uh, I have nothing else to say, so let's just get right into the story. Let's go. So, back when I was 11, I was just chilling in my mom's room. I don't know why I was in my mom's room. I don't think there was anything wrong with my room at the, at the time, but... Uh, it's whatevs. I just randomly chill there whenever I want to. That sounds weird, but you get what I mean. And I got a call from a random number that I didn't recognize. Now, usually, more recently, I should say, uh, whenever I get a number, a call from a random number and I don't recognize it, I just leave it alone and let it ring. And if they repeatedly call me back, I would block them. Simple, right? <laughs> Not in this case. I don't know why my camera's like this. I'm sorry. It's it's like weird. Can you not? So I just let it ring. But after like every no, actually it was either I let it ring or I just kept pressing hang up every single time. But this person like would not stop calling me. And so um I was like being a little cheeky bitch. I was like I'm gonna answer it, which is something you should never ever do. Do not fall. Do not. Oh my god. <laughs> Please, at any circumstance, do not. And I mean, do not do what I did. I was a stupid kid. It could have been some literal murderer, and I answered it. So don't ever do that. Just block the number and go on with your day, okay? Do not answer. I was so dumb back then. And so I answered it, being the little. Uh, dumbass that I am. Uh, let me see if I- I don't remember much of the conversation, but I think it went something along the lines of, hello? Yeah, hi, this is Jonathan. Um, are you Maria? <laughs> <laughs> I think her name was Maria, or like, I don't know, something like that. It started with an M. Um, no? Yeah, I'm trying to find my girlfriend, and this was the number that she gave me, so, yeah. Um, I think you got the wrong number. And then he kept talking. I, I don't remember much of the conversation, but he kept talking. And I was like, sir, I'm like a child. Can you like not? Um, but after I hang up, he kept calling me. I was like, um, excuse me, sir. But my dumbass kept answering. I was like, hello. And he's like, I know you're there. And I was like, who's there? <laughs> I'm like, I'm a kid. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's like, I know you're there, Maria. Oh, um, don't lie to me. Or is this like Maria's friends? And I was like, who's Maria? Who are you? I'm just an 11 year old kid. Eventually he stopped calling. But then like, I want to say like a couple minutes later, he messaged me. I didn't even block the number because I just thought, oh, that's the end of it. I'm just going to leave it now. No, he messages me. He's like, I know you're there, Ma Maria. And I was like, what? I was like, I'm not who you think you are. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a kid. I'm a child. What the fuck? No, I didn't, I didn't say that because I didn't curse back then. But just, I just said like, I'm, I'm not her. Sorry. And he was like, I know you're there. Or is this her friends? And I was like, What do you mean? I don't understand. <laughs> it was the most most stupidest thing ever like this guy would not believe that i was just an 11 year old child um and so i don't remember if i blocked if i actually like blocked the number or you just left me alone after that but i told my friend about it and i was just i never told my mom i don't even think she knows about it now but um i just found this hilarious now that i think about it uh so jonathan if you're out there uh I don't know if you guys are broken up or something, but yeah, I was a kid, so, uh, hope your relationship is, a uh, uh, peachy. <clears throat> okay, so that was a bit of, uh, a short story, so I'm going to tell another one. I was also 11 in this one, but I do have to put out a warning. 
minors, children of the internet, please, 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 please be very, very, very careful whenever you're online. It is super dangerous and some things can, uh, some bad stuff can happen to you. I was a dumb kid, okay? I was dumb, um, but I'm safe, nothing's, um, out anymore. Ugh, gross, nasty, I'm really shaky for some reason, I don't know why, maybe it's because it's almost 9 o'clock. But yeah, please, um, don't do anything without your parents' permission. Be safe out there. And don't talk to any weirdos because they are creepy. Like this guy in this story. So again, I was 11 and this took place on, uh, do you guys remember, uh, Musical.ly, which is now TikTok now? Follow my TikTok. <laughs> Random plug-in. Okay, sorry. <laughs> but back when TikTok was called Musical.ly, yeah, I've had this app for such a long time. I have not been outside. Uh, I'm lying. Okay, okay, I'll stop getting off, tra off, off track. Oh my god, love English. Uh, my DMs were very open back then, so I would just, like, I was allowing many people just to, like, like message me, like, DM me on, on Musical.ly. And I got this weird one. Um, and he was being super creepy to me. I didn't even show- what well, actually, maybe I did show my face on there. Again, please be very careful with what you do online. Oh yeah, and I should probably add, this was also on the account that I use now. So, um, that's fantastic. But yeah, I got a message from a random person and I replied per usual because I thought, oh, maybe they're a fan of me, maybe they like my stuff. No, not at all. It was a weirdo. So, this person- I don't remember how the conversation started. But I think it was just like, hi, and then I, re I responded like, hi, like trying to be nice. And then I went downhill so fast. He was being so creepy to me and saying how he wants me. And I was like, what? <laughs> oh my god. And he was saying how he wants like my, um, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I'm only 11. Uh, and he was like, I'm 20. And, uh, again, I was like, I'm only a kid, and he was like, I don't care. Which is, uh, sir? What? So you're saying you're okay being a, a fucking pedophile? That's disgusting! And I kept saying, like, this is not okay. Um, ew. And he just kept saying, I want you, I want you, over and over and over. I didn't respond much, thank god, and I didn't say anything about, uh, like, much to that guy. And so all I know is that he's 20, and he was very, very creepy to 11-year-old me, and I blocked him so fast. Yeah, I was fucking paranoid, man. I was so scared. <laughs> but after that, nothing happened, and I honestly forgot about it. So, take this story as a warning to please be very careful online, no matter what platform you are. Just please be super careful, because bad things can very happen. Who knows what would happen to me if I kept messaging that guy? Like, that's disgusting. Absolutely nasty. I was so close to being groomed, and that scares me. Luckily, I am 18 now, so, uh, that's, uh, not actually very lucky, so, <laughs> that's fantastic. But yeah, just in conclusion, stay safe out there. No one knows what can happen. Uh, I feel like this video was kind of short. I don't know because I'm recording in clips, so I don't know how the end product will be. But sorry if the video was a little bit short. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm trying to- I want to post more on my- on my channel because I feel like for the past year, I posted like one or two videos. Um... And that's kind of sad, because I used to post a lot back then, and I've edited fast, so um, I kind of just want to bring out more content. It may not be skits like I want to, and it may just be like story times or just random stuff, but you know what? It's fine. I'll hopefully get skits out, because I'm going to graduate high school soon. Yippee! <sighs> oh my god. It's so crazy to think about. Yeah, but in the meantime, my content now may just- I'm sorry, my arm is hurting so bad. Um, in the meantime, my content may just be story times because, um, 
I don't know, I just remember stories at random times and I'm like, this would be excellent content to share to my channel. So, yeah, why not? And besides, I find story times funny. I rewatch my videos. Yeah, I know, I'm sad. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching. Highly appreciate it. Um, if you want, you can leave, like, video suggestions. I will gladly take them and into consideration and possibly make a video edit uh, out of it and I'll definitely give you credit uh, for the idea because I could use some. I have a Google Drive of all the ideas that I that I have and it's not very full. There's bare, there's like maybe eight and that's off the top of my head maybe less. Um, so that would be great that you'll be helping me a lot. Oh, you know how to take my medication. Hold up. Ah, that's much better. Now I have the sensation of pills being stuck in my throat. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more of my delicious content, please hit subscribe. And if my YouTube channel isn't enough for you, uh... <laughs> I have some more social media platforms down below in the description. So feel free to check them out, but if not, it's chill. Uh, have a marvelous day or night whenever you're watching this video, and stay safe and take care of yourself. Goodbye.